Hey everyone, in this episode we're going to capture post information and post it to the home controller to later on be able to display it as individual information on the post page. Alright, so first of all, to hold the information, to hold the post information, we need to create a model. Okay, so let's create a folder with uh, folder models, which will hold, uh, hold the post object. So this post object uh, should have attributes that relate to a post, like the title. So type in prop, press tab twice, type in string as the data type for the title, and copy that line of code and give it a body. Um, and let's have a date time a prop, which basically, which is basically going to hold the time of the creation of this post. All right, so. Let's give it a default value of now. So whenever this is going to get created, this is going to get set to the time that it's created at. And let's give these values default, these props default values. So they're not going to be null and to avoid errors in the future. You can clean these up by pressing control dot and enter. But yeah, this is our post model. So now we have to capture this information. We do this in the view. So let's create a new view, edit.cshtml, and let's give it a model post. So if we go to model post, we can see that it's in the name, this is its namespace. So to access it, we need to go to blog, models, post, right? We don't want to, uh, although we don't want to type this uh, namespace all the time. So let's go to view imports and at using, logged up models, right? So now this uh, namespace is global to all these views and we can access it here. All right, so let's just put this thing here to avoid IntelliSense errors. Div, create a div, inside the div, create a form. Uh, if you're wondering how I'm creating these objects, it's called uh, Zen coding. And it's a, it's a little bit out of scope for this uh, tutorial. I'll probably teach it later, but this method post specifies uh, an HTTP uh, method. And uh, you're gonna see how it works in a minute. So create another div. Uh, and here you wanna create a label, call it ti title. And then let's make an input field. Uh, remove all of these values and Let's give it ASP4, and this this lets us bind uh, the properties of our object, of our model, to input fields. All right, so let's copy this, but this one's going to be body. All right, and let's make another input field. So this one's going to be type submit, name, we want to remove the name, and the value, just submit. Okay, cool. Now we want to display this page, right? So public I action result edit the same as the previous ones return view. Okay, so the default HTTP method for these actions is get, right? We specify here the method post, right? So The way you specify where this form goes is same as an action, is same as a link. So ASP, controller home, ASP action, edit, right? So it's these two. So how do we know where we want to go? Well, we have a model post, so that's where we're going to be posting. So one of these will have to accept a post object. Post, import it, post. All right, so we want to send it here. But since the default HTTP method is get, we want to specify which HTTP method we're going to use. So to do that, you type, you give it this HTTP post attribute above the method, okay? And this is going to be the default get. So let's just specify get for clarity, since they both have the same name. And if you'll see, it accepts a model of, this view accepts a model of post. So 
let's return it. Let's give it a model just to avoid uh, any errors. All right. So when this gets instantiated, it will receive a model of post. A uh, form is filled out, and the model is sent to this. Uh, not sent, but posted to this method. All right. And after it is uh, received, we don't want to return the same view. We want to uh, let's say return to the home page. So redirect the uh, return redirect to action and not home but index. Okay, so let's put a breakpoint here so we can uh, see what we actually post works. So let's run this. Okay, all right, so. Let's create a link real quick. So copy this, edit, edit, boom, refresh. Okay. Uh, so you can see if you press F12 and you go to network, this is developer tools, right? So let's say preserve log, edit. If you click on this, you can see the request method get. All right. So title, body, body. And let's submit this. OK, so we received it here. Here's all the information with the date time of created since the creation of this object. And here, if we look at this, it doesn't show up here. Yet. So let's wait, redirect. OK. So here we go, this was post, right? So the reason it didn't appear is because there was no response yet. There was only a request. So here's the request. And yeah, it's all the information about it. Don't worry about most of it. But what I want to show you is how the ASP helpers uh, generate the elements. So if you go to elements and uh, select this input, the title input field. So you can see that the form as an action, and we uh, it equals to home uh, slash edit. We didn't really specify the action. All we did was specify the ASP controller and the ASP action, not the actual action attribute. So these uh, ASP helpers, they automatically uh, evaluate to uh, these HTML attributes. And the ASP4 uh, helper automatically generates the type ID, name, and value of the input field. So it saves a lot of uh, typing. But yeah, this is it for this episode. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you like it, subscribe, like. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I'll try to answer them all 